Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be working on some debt payments today, which I'm really excited about. And we just have a lot of fun things to get into. So if you're interested in seeing some budgeting content, my name is Kayla, this is Cork Budget, and please just keep watching. Going straight into the budget today, we are going to be paying rent, I'm going to be paying my uh, Google Drive, and then I have some spending money that I need to pay back. I did have spending money budgeted for this check, but this was just a little bit more than I normally like had budgeted, but it's fine. Anything left over is going to the Huntington card because we are paying the Huntington card off. We will get more into that here in just a little bit, but some things are moving and shaking a little bit and we are going to just pay off whatever is left on that card because I'm done with it. I'm tired of having another card, so it is time to move on. Next up is what we have spent for the week. So we do have a couple of things in past weeks. We have this that we need to pay for from my spending account from a Michael's purchase. We have some spending last week slash like weekend that we need to take care of. And we have some more spending here. I basically just wanted to leave it all to the end of the month and figure it out with all my spending money and budget and credits from, again, not credits, but reimbursements from the fiance and all that. So I have game night. I had budgeted for... $30 and I ended up only spending $13.90 on some like little seltzer drinks and so I decided to take the rest of that money and use it on ThreadUp because I had a credit on ThreadUp and they gave me a birthday coupon so I ordered two dresses and it was $18.07. Next up, we went to Weber Grill for my birthday. We got a couple drinks and like some breadsticks. I put that on my card and we just kind of exchanged paying for a few things. I do have $20 in cash that I need to put towards this. So technically it's only $20.88, but I do need to pay this full amount back to my credit card. I have no idea what's going on with the social media payouts, but I did get a payout for $31.31. So... We got a little bit of extra money there. The fiance had sent me some money and it was like, an, he likes to send even amounts. Like if it's like $57, he'll send 60. So I got a credit into my buffer of $2.39. I had mentioned I was going to go have drinks with a couple of work friends. And so that happened and I spent budgeted $30 and I spent $33.80 and I had some leftovers so I felt like that was pretty good because I went over $3.80 but I was able to get like a meal and a half out of it. If you heard that, I'm so sorry that was my computer yelling at me for no reason. I also had a couple birthday gifts that I ended up exchanging for a couple other things. I just didn't love them so I exchanged them but I had to pay a difference of $6.90. I just got back from the grocery and I spent $56.69 and then I did get some cash back this month from my hunting, Huntington card and that was $3.25. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my little sheet here so that I can get my life together and we will total up, oh my gosh, we will total up everything that we have going here. Okay, so the way that I'm going to kind of figure all this out might be a little bit interesting but I promise in my head it's all <laughs> making kind of sense but I'm just going to total up everything that I need to pay back to my credit card and we're just going to make that payment. So $113.55 And then the only one on here, I think, for my bills is the grocery. So, obviously, none of this is actually going to be coming out of sinking funds. I'm going to do a few things with my buffer this week because I'm going to even that out to, um, like, I think $200 and just make the payment that I need to make for my Huntington card. So, I think that that's it on that this part it's not there's just there's just so much happening so many things are 
are happening and I'm trying to get it all together. Oh wait, that's incorrect. We have so many things back here. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Because I believe I know the total and that's why that was confusing to me. Okay, plus 1860 plus 2070 and then 3150. 184.35. So we'll see if that's right. I basically, I'm going to, oh, and this one. Oh my gosh. We're struggling today, friends. Can you tell? Plus 12.28. Perfection. One. 9663. Okay, so that is what I need to be paying back that is on the credit card currently. I do have um, extra money in my account from things that were sent to me, like from the fiance and everything. So that's what I need to pay back the um, as far as like what was put onto my card, but I'm not paying all of that back personally, if that makes sense. I don't know that it does. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a couple of my sinking funds because I did spend some grocery money. So let's go ahead and get into our envelopes. I'm gonna pull out my receipts. I'm gonna scan these into Fetch Rewards. My code is down below if you're interested. And then I'm gonna go into grocery and pull out $56. Twenty. 40, 55, oh, six and seven. Let me just double check. 20, 40, 55, six and seven. Where's this going? We're in the wrong place, sorry. So left in grocery now, we have 25, 30, we have 25, 30, and one. So grocery, we took out 56, 69, and we have 31 left. And that is really the only sinking fund that we're going to focus on currently. Um, I am going to look into my buffer, but I'm going to do that probably at the very end of this video because I'm not entirely sure what that number is going to end up being because basically I'm going to take everything down to $200 and um, put that towards my Huntington credit card. So that is really going to be it for this part. Normally I do a little bit more with my sinking funds, but like the game night money I just left in my account, the drinks money I left in my account because I knew like that I was going to be doing all this, so I don't really need to be moving around anything. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, and I think I'm going to leave everything else for now because... It was all just left in my account. Like I got this credit, I left that in my account because I knew I had spending money to pay back. So I didn't move it all around and I'm not going to because that doesn't make sense for me to put it in there and then take it all out. So yeah, okay, let's get my clutter out of the way. Let's go into our, let's go ahead and go into our sinking fund checkbook. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just get the grocery out of the way because that theoretically, should be easy. We are taking out 56, 69, which should leave us with $31 perfection. So that part is done. 
Now I just need to get my mind wrapped around the rest of this. So the buffer can get $2.38, 39 cents. So, oh, not, not a debit, hold please. This should be 239 credit. Okay, go ahead and highlight that. And then everything else, besides my cash back, put that on my sheet here in a minute. Pay, 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 and pay. But nothing is changing in my envelopes, if that makes sense, just this time because I knew that I was going to be spending this money and so I didn't put it into my envelopes because that just wouldn't make sense. So, now what? <laughs> I feel like I am all over the place. Um, so, I need to add that $2.39 here so that I can change this amount. So we're gonna add 364 plus 239. So 366.78 will come from here to pay off my 366.78. And that will leave us with $200 in our buffer. So I'm going to go over to here and just take out the $19.13 from the buffer. Which leaves us with $200. Oh my gosh, you can't even see. Which leaves us with the $200 up here, which is great. Grocery should be good. Gas, beans. This spending money, I'm leaving my account, it's just that $5, and then my Emma money. So I think that all of that is done. Okay, moving over to this credit card. So my Huntington credit card currently has $4.53.85 on it. We did get that cash back, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. For $3.25. Which is that what? Yes, which leaves us with four fifty and sixty cents. That should be the total that I need to pay um, to pay off this credit card. And I'm going to pay this amount, but I'm gonna wait for a second because my Hulu comes out of that account and it's actually gonna be processing tomorrow. So I'm gonna wait until about the second of May to make make this payment just so that everything is done on that account and I know what is coming off of that um but like you saw before we have in the checkbook 366.78 that we are going to make on that so I'm just going to make a note right here four and 60 cents minus 366 and 78 450 60 minus 366 78 leaves us with 83 82 that we need to pay on my Huntington card and we will be pulling that money from this Huntington buffer savings. I left this $100 in here at the beginning of like my sinking funds just to keep that account kind of open. But the more that I'm realizing and the more I'm like working through my budget, I really don't think I need this account. And so I'm gonna take this money out and use it to pay off this. And then I will put whatever's left over back into my buffer probably just because um, I don't think that I really need all that right now. But we are paying off card. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to only have one credit card that we're dealing with and that will be this balance over here but we're going to chip a, chip away at that very aggressively and I will share some things in my next couple of videos that will show you some plans that I have for this card and for the rest of my budget but that is what we're going to do so I'm going to go ahead and transfer this I'm going to make a note 
to transfer Huntington savings of $100 into my, um, my bills account so that I can make that payment. And I'm, I'm so excited to get rid of this amount, you guys. So I'll be two cards that we have paid off. And now I just have the one discover to work on. Okay, on to my spending tracker. So if you watch last week's video, you know that I was debating if I was going to get food on the 20th. I was just not feeling it. It was my birthday the next day and I inserted in the clip that I did go spend that. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in because I went to Popeye's on the 20th. It was wonderful and worth every second and every bit of my little red square. Um, but yes, yeah, so that was not a no spend day. I knew I was going to get it. So that's why I left it for this video just to be honest with myself. So on the 21st, I did spend because we ended up going to the liquor store and I had done some shopping on thread up. On the 22nd, I also spent. We were downtown and we had some time so we went and grabbed a drink the 23rd sunday what did i do on i don't even think i left the house on sunday i did not spend on sunday i had friends over for a game night and we just kind of we ordered pizza but my fiance paid for that on the 24th I did not spend any money either, and I don't think I spent anything on the 25th, so there's two more. Two more days here. The 26th was when I went out with my friends last night. And then the 27th today, all I did was get groceries. So, and we have plans for dinner, so I'm not going to end up going out for dinner. So I know that it's just the grocery amount that I have spent. So um, my goal is 20 purple and green days. And I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I have already done my goal and there's three days left for the month. I'm so excited. I'm trying really, really hard to be very mindful about when I'm spending, what I'm spending. It seems like the first half of the week is really good for me and the second half of the week is really bad. Even if I don't hit my goal, this is showing patterns in my spending and how I how I function. And it seems as though um, the second half of the month does tend to be a little bit busier for my, or second half of the weeks does seem to be a little bit busier for my spending. But I'm pretty happy about that. And oh, technically I did spend here. Oh no. I think I need to change it. And I don't know how to change it without messing it up. This is a red day. So I'm at 19 because I did order something and I went over my my return amount. Okay, that's pink. Hopefully we can remember that. Okay, I have 19. Oh, I just got so excited. All right, well, I have three days left and I don't plan on spending any money tomorrow or Saturday. So we should be good. Oh, that was really exciting for a hot second. Okay, friends, I think that's it for this video. It was a fairly quick one just because really the biggest chunk of my money is just going towards rent this um, paycheck. So not, not anything too crazy exciting, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. The next few videos, I think I have three videos coming out next week, friends, and they're going to be really exciting ones. So I hope that you stay tuned. Please subscribe if you're interested in watching more of my journey. And there is a giveaway coming up in one of those videos next week.